You welcome back guys another video um, in this video I will show you that how to configure the light speed for press cache plugin so it's going to be a super simple quick video on how to configure the basic settings of light speed cache so in this case I'm gonna be using the uh, nginx hosting server that I'm using so it might not work properly just to show you guys I'm using the uh, exact same process that you can follow for the lightspeed cache server so first off what we have to do is like search for the lightspeed cache plugin and then start configuring the plugin with your wordpress site so click on install now and after that if you have any other cache plugin please deactivate in this case i'm using the uh, simple cache enabler plugin and I'm going to go ahead and click on Lightspeed Cache plugin and activate the plugin. So, when you first install the plugin and activate, you would see the plugin option in the left sidebar and simply click on the Lightspeed Cache plugin. After that, what you have to do is you have to see the images optimization, page optimization, CD and bandwidth, low quality image placeholder. And we do not have to mess around here. And what we do is we go to general settings and after that we have to automatically upgrade turn this on and uh, simply we just keep it off the guest mode as we don't want our pages to be broken on our front end so click on save changes now after that what you have to do is go to cache now these are the basic settings that you can do once installing your WordPress website on the Lightspeed server. So all the settings are turned on by default. You just have to click on save changes. And uh, after that, what you can do is go ahead and go to page optimization. So these are the settings that we have to focus more to load our website faster when it comes to the uh, slow loading WordPress dashboard or slow loading WordPress page. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these settings on. We can turn this CSS minify setting on and we don't want to be combined the uh, CSS files. So we will turn this off and go ahead and move on to the uh, font display optimization. What you can do is here is you can simply swap the fonts or you can just host the fonts locally to your WordPress site and click on save changes. So that way you can have the uh, maximum performance when loading your pages so next up we have the javascript settings and we can do js minify but we will not turn on the js combined feature and simply go down and now we can load js deferred and click on the deferred this, this second option and click on save changes so after that what i have to do is i have to go to html settings and i can turn this on DNS prefetch control currently I'm not using any kind of DNS so I will turn this off and uh, go ahead and click on save changes so it's super simple there is nothing too complicated just go to media settings you can preload or if you're using a specific preloading featured image plugin you can just turn this off and lazy load images I will turn this off as I already have a plugin that is optimizing my images so now I'll do is save changes. After that, what I have to do is simply go to the uh, plugin dashboard. Right here, I can do like uh, purge all cache. Okay, so now the basic settings have been configured successfully. Now what we have to do is just do not mess with this uh, guest mode as it might load your website faster, but it can break your layout so just leave it as it is and for the images optimization you could do the send optimization request but it will require an api key so i don't have the api key and uh, i'm using a third party plugin to optimize my wordpress images so that's all guys how to configure the lightspeed cache plugin if you like this video please sub to the channel and like this video for more upcoming videos just press the notification bell i will see you in the next one take care and